in a bold move to assert its presence in the global semiconductor market. China is harnessing the power of self-aligned quadruple patterning, SAQP, applied to deep ultraviolet or DUV machines. This strategic adaptation could catapult the nation into producing sophisticated 5 nanometer grade chips, bypassing the need for the more advanced extreme ultraviolet or EUV tools that are exclusively sold by ASML. Meanwhile, Nora Technology Group, a front runner in local semiconductor equipment, has initiated preliminary research into these lithography systems as of March, showcasing China's commitment to technological independence. But what could this mean for the global balance in semiconductor production? And more importantly, how might this shift affect the international tech landscape? Don't go anywhere. We'll be delving into the far-reaching impacts of China's latest tech breakthroughs. Nora Technology Group, based in Beijing, commenced exploration into lithography systems in the previous month, as per individuals familiar with the situation. This initiative comes as Chinese indigenous manufacturers of semiconductor equipment endeavor to devise solutions for fabricating advanced chips without relying on the latest equipment from ASML, a Dutch industry leader. Such a development could potentially impede U.S. efforts to restrict China's semiconductor manufacturing capabilities. China's push into self-developed lithography systems is not just about creating alternatives to ASML's advanced equipment, but also about fostering an entire ecosystem that can support semiconductor production from material sourcing to final chip assembly. This approach includes significant investments in raw materials such as silicon wafers and chemicals necessary for photolithography, aiming to reduce reliance on foreign suppliers. The endeavors, which engage various participants in China's semiconductor supply chain, have achieved initial research progress. A recent patent application by Huawei Technologies unveiled a method referred to as self-aligned quadruple patterning, capable of imprinting lines onto silicon wafers multiple times to enhance transistor density and chip performance. The patent, integrating cutting-edge etching and lithography techniques, is anticipated to enhance the design flexibility of circuit patterns as stated in the submission to the China National Intellectual Property Administration, as initially disclosed by Bloomberg. Utilizing SAQP in conjunction with DUV equipment from ASML and Japanese manufacturers, such as Nikon, China could manufacture intricate 5 nanometer grade chips without relying on the more advanced EUV tools exclusive to ASML. Chinese companies have been unable to obtain EUV technology, but have accumulated DUV machines in recent years, amidst concerns over potential tightening of export controls by Washington and its allies. During a recent meeting with Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte in Beijing, Chinese President Xi Jinping conveyed that China's scientific and technological development cannot be halted by external forces. Additionally, Chinese Commerce Minister Wang Wentao emphasized to his Dutch counterpart the importance of fulfilling contractual obligations and ensuring normal trade of lithography machines. Meanwhile, China's decade-long endeavor to create its own lithography machines has encountered significant challenges. The state-owned Shanghai Microelectronics Equipment Group, SMEE, the nation's primary lithography systems manufacturer, has yet to develop machines comparable to those of ASML. In December 2022, SMEE was placed on a U.S. trade blacklist due to national security concerns, further diminishing the likelihood of breakthrough. Despite these setbacks, Several Chinese chip tool manufacturers have emerged as key contributors to reducing the country's dependence on imported machines. Nora Technology Group, a leading local semiconductor equipment provider, has been conducting initial research on lithography systems since March, following the establishment of a specialized program last December, as reported by sources familiar with the situation. According to anonymous sources, the company has instructed a select group of engineers to embark on research regarding lithography systems, a domain beyond its customary focus on etching and film deposition. However, a spokesperson for Nora declined to confirm the information when approached by the Post recently, stating it was not accurate without providing further details. Though the success of Nora's new research endeavors remains uncertain, this initiative underscores the determination within China's chip industry to circumvent U.S.-led sanctions aimed at restraining the nation's progress in semiconductors and artificial intelligence. Meanwhile, these endeavors are being conducted in strict confidentiality to avoid triggering further sanctions from Washington, which precedes them as evasive measures around existing export controls. 
Bloomberg reported that the U.S. government is contemplating blacklisting several Chinese semiconductor companies associated with Huawei Technologies, following a significant breakthrough in advanced chip technology by the Shenzhen-based tech giant. Among the potential targets is Securier, a state-supported chip tool developer collaborating with Huawei which obtained a patent related to SAQP towards the end of 2023. In this tense environment, Huawei opted out of its customary post-annual results press conference, citing concerns about facing inquiries regarding its covered chip manufacturing efforts. The engagement of Chinese companies across the chip tool supply chain is not surprising, as Beijing is mobilizing resources from various sectors to achieve technological breakthroughs, analysts noted. Dan Hutchison, vice chairman of the U.S.-based IC research company Tech Insights, suggested that China's SAQP research likely involves companies such as Nora and SMEE, given their expertise in etching and deposition, which are essential for lithography. Hutchison explained that the drive behind this effort stems from Securier's SAQP patent, which outlines the replacement of optical lithography steps with etching and deposition processes. It is anticipated that this development will aid in China's progression towards 5 nanometer technology. The focus on developing SAQP and other lithographic innovations is part of a broader strategy by China to upgrade its manufacturing processes to more closely align with Moore's law, which predicts a doubling of transistor counts roughly every two years. By advancing its capabilities in nanometer scale lithography, China aims not only to catch up with international technology standards, but also to drive future innovations in semiconductor design and functionality. Shenzhen-based Securier obtained a similar patent from China's Intellectual Property Authority in December 2023, outlining a method utilizing DUV tools and SAQP to achieve 5 nanometer node production, according to its filing. Reportedly, a research memo by Citigroup analysts suggested that Nora and local competitor Advanced Microfabrication Equipment were exploring collaborative efforts on a novel multiple patterning technology utilizing etching techniques to achieve 7 nanometer and more advanced chips. While achieving 7 nanometer or even 5 nanometer grade chips would still position China behind the cutting edge, it's worth noting that Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company a global leader in foundry services, produced 3 nanometer chips for Apple in 2023 and plans to progress to 2 nanometer silicon with the assistance of ASML's latest EUV machines. Despite these advancements, few are willing to dismiss China's potential, especially considering Beijing's capacity to mobilize the entire semiconductor supply chain. By the end of 2023, Nora had submitted applications for over 7,900 patents and had secured rights to more than 4,600 of them, according to company stock filings in February. As China innovates away from reliance on ASML lithography machines, it's clear that the tech landscape is poised for a significant shift. This strategic move not only highlights China's push for self-sufficiency, but also signals potential changes in global tech dominance. What do you think will be the long-term impact of China's advancements on the global semiconductor industry? Feel free to share your thoughts and perspectives in the comments section below. Don't forget to become a part of the Revel Discovery community by hitting that subscribe button to stay informed about the latest technological advancements and innovations. Explore endless tech possibilities for an exciting future.